A warning right off the bat, this procedure is for nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydrate batteries only. Do not attempt this on a lithium cell or the results will be explosive, kind of what you see in my opening here. So this is not for any cell phone because they all use lithium batteries. This is only for the older cordless phones that plug into your home phone that use a nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydrate battery. This is a way to get them working when they're weak. So this is my cordless phone. It's just come off the charger. And as you can see, the battery is showing it is dead. So here's the cells here. This is a nickel metal hydrate battery. And sometimes you can coax these into restoring some of their charge if you're careful. Do not ever attempt to do this ever with a lithium battery because it'll, it will result in a fire. Nickel metal hydrate and nickel cadmium batteries can quite often be somewhat restored by the process I'm going to show you. I know all the safety conscious people are going to be jumping all over this but really um, it's not that it's not that dangerous we're going to just give it a little bit more uh, of a jolt and try to burn off any crystals that are forming on the inside of the cell without giving it so much juice that we're going to pop the cell so I'm going to limit the current to a couple of amps and we'll probably jolt it up to maybe six or seven volts set my power supply here to say six volts and we'll give it some current I'll limit my power supply to maybe five amps that should be plenty and basically negative terminal on the negative terminal of the battery positive terminal on the positive terminal so this is a negative terminal here and the positive terminal is on the other side and we're going to just jolt this battery for a few minutes not to get it hot or anything just to try and get the battery to accept the charge this will quite often burn off any crystals that form between the the, uh, the cathode and the anode in the battery which can cause it to not accept the charge and if we, if we measure the voltage on the cells we should be able to tell which one's actually got the low voltage too because typically it's only going to be one of the two cells that are causing the problem so if I measure the one that I just jolted we'll see that this one here, this is probably the one that's dead too what's the meter say? so I got 1.3 volts, so that's good, that's what we want to see and we'll measure the other one and this one here is One point three. So we may have actually fixed it right now just by jolting that one cell. I'll do the other one just for good measure. We'll just give this one a bit of a jolt as well. Just for it only takes a few seconds. You don't want the battery to heat up or anything because if it does, it's going to pop the uh, it's going to pop the cell itself and blow the. There's a safety seal that will vent if you if it builds up too much pressure. And if you cause that, then you're going to uh, ruin the cell because then when it cools down, it's going to suck moisture in and that's going to short the cell out. But if I plug the, the phone back in here, as you can see, the battery indicator is now full. And there we go. So this battery has now been sort of fixed. It will run, I'm sure, for a while. This is not a, by any means, a permanent fix if someone thinks that they're, they're going to um, if someone thinks they're going to fix their battery permanently by doing this this is a short-term fix that will last for a while uh, it can be done again it can be done repeatedly uh, the last time I did this was on my old uh, cordless phone and the battery lasted another couple months before having to be replaced but uh, these phone batteries are expensive and you know I mean yes you can you can certainly buy the cells 
uh, I would change the cells out. If I, these are AAA, so if I had a couple of AAA cells, I would just replace them. But I don't have any off ha on hand. Um, to go and buy one of these from one of the retail stores that sells cordless phone batteries, I mean, they'll charge you $30 for a battery. Battery's not worth no 30 bucks. Uh, I can get the cells for a couple bucks a piece, but I gotta order them, and that's gonna take a bit of time. So at least this will get this handset back up and running again, and I might get another couple months or longer of service out of this now jump-started battery. I've been doing this for years. I did it with nickel cadmium batteries initially. It works with nickel cadmium and it works with nickel metal hydride. Do not try it on a lithium battery or you have explosive results. Um, well, maybe not because most, most lithium batteries have protection in them to prevent them from, from blowing up. But the, certainly the polymer, we've, we've all seen those fires of the, uh, the guys with their, uh, their RC batteries that have caused them you know, to, to explode by overcharging. So don't do it with a lithium battery. Uh, lithium batteries are hazardous. These ones here, the worst thing that can happen if you overcharge it is it's going to pop the vent. You're going to get some stinky smoke come out of the battery and uh, then what, what happens is once the battery cools it's going to draw in moisture in the air and that will change the chemistry and burn the cell out and it will it will die very quickly. So the, the key is when you're using a power supply and I used around 6 volts at 5 amps is to keep the duration relatively short. Don't let the cell heat up. If you start to feel the cell heat up immediately remove the power and allow it to cool. Uh, it only took a couple minutes and as you can see this battery is now once again operational. I hit my, where's my speakerphone on here? There we go. Everything's working. So there you go, little tip to extend the battery life on your cordless phones for those of you that still actually have a telephone. I know a lot of you don't but there's also a lot that do because I do a lot of I do a lot of uh, installation of home phone and uh, there's a lot of people that still use them and there's a lot of people that use cordless phones like this. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later in the next one. Bye.